You're on. I'm on, and hello everybody, I'm back. Hanging out with Charlie, I bought another Mopar head. Surprise, surprise. This one's a stock casting. It's a Z head. Everybody's heard of the X head. Everybody's heard of the J head. For you guys that aren't Mopar guys, they're also O, U, and Z. You put these numbers on the head, so during the assembly line, they wouldn't be confused with the 318 head. This way the workers knew, you see a letter, that's a 340 head. Well, that's what we have here today. There are 202, 1 6 valve size. Someone did some work to it. I wasn't too overly amused with what I saw, but hey, who knows? So I figured, jolly, want to flow ahead? And here we are today. So they're mostly stock. Let's see, uh, let's see how yeah. they... The bowls are stock, a little uh, work on the ports, on the intake, too much on the exhaust, I think. I mean, it's, I thought it was kind of obvious when I first saw it. I mean, and I'm really no one to uh, talk to you about head cylinder, mo you know, cylinder head modifications. I am not the guy, but some things are kind of obvious. But, probably, please, take it away or show the head. You can see. Uh... All right, guys, this is what we got. The valves we used are some of uh, Rob's. 20216s, they do not have back cuts on them. But let's take a quick look at what we did with our, our liquid flow. Notice how narrow that is. We would like to spread that out a little bit more, right? It does go, it goes all the way to that hump. This has got that hump in the ceiling. Maybe hard to see. Let me grab an extra light on that. Okay, so see if you can see that hump in the, the floor and you can see the way the dicum <laughs> goes around it you can see it at the very bottom or at the very top of the roof and then you got the bump and then it comes into the bowl these have nice big uh, nice big bowls on them I can see where guys can make good power with these with uh, just uh, just some work okay casting number 915 B Letter Z. Chamber looks basically the same as the 360 chamber we were looking at before, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see down the exhaust, it's got a much, much bigger bowl. Remember, it's got a bigger valve than what we're used to seeing, and it's got a much bigger bowl, and it feeds into a much bigger port. We'll take a look at one of the dirty, rusty ports, and you can see... Somebody did uh, like a gasket match and did some work on on this wall. Now, how is that going to affect our flow numbers? Probably a little bit. I mean, everything affects everything. But you can see you got a nice you got a nice generous bolt that, that uh, the guide boss is very similar to the the 318 guide boss. In which case, uh, I would like to take most of that out. It's probably an hour's worth of grinding just to get rid of that thing. And uh, my buddy Tom Muse was talking about how the floor is really low on these and needs to be filled. Well, that's actually what we did. You'll see this has got uh, some nicks where I hit it with the pitot tube. But I took my clay radius and we did, we did a first set of flow tests. And then I said, you know, after I looked at the air speeds, I'm like... I bet we can fill in a lot of that floor, and it'll be pretty much the same flow numbers, but with a smaller port. So, what is that doing? You guys can answer that in the questions. Alright, this is tough to see, and you can see where I had the pito in there getting some air speeds, and I made some nicks in the clay. But we took a, a nice, big, fat chunk of clay. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull that out and show you how big it is. Okay, that's what it measures. I just made, I just took the clay out of the floor and made a bowl out of it. Measured the diameter of it, so somebody much smarter than me can give us, tell exa us exactly how much area that is that we took, and we filled this huge divot on the floor. It's big. It's a big ski ramp up. And uh, what Tom Muse says is... Uh, doesn't do anything but hurts horsepower. Well, I can see where he's, he's absolutely right there. And uh, why did the original engineers do that? I don't know. In reality, there's more than enough metal to widen the pinch and raise up that floor quite a bit. And 
and uh, just make the whole port more efficient. So, you got anything else to add, Rob? No. Nope. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at the flow sheets, and we're gonna compare the flow sheets for this mostly stock 340 head 20216 to the heads I'm doing for the Mission Impossible. In fact, we're going to compare them to cylinder number three, which I don't think you guys have seen yet. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because uh, I did the number one and number three comparison. Okay. All right, guys. Let me grab my, my pointer. Okay, so this is Tim's open chamber, number three. Here's our flows. Don't pay any attention to these pluses and minuses because those are in reference to cylinder number one. Okay, so here is our Rob Z head. This is how we did, comparing a 1.78 to a 202. Now, the 202 doesn't have a back cut, all right? The 1.78 has got DV special valve job. This has got the stock valve job, whatever it came with. Okay, here's what we got. Minus, minus, plus, plus, plus. Does good right in that little mid-range right there. Minus, 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 minus. Now, this is before we filled the port. So this is completely stock with that little bit of grinding. Take a look at our swirl curve. The swirl curve is kind of interesting, right? You got a minus, plus, 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 plus. And at the very top, you get a couple minuses. Overall, swirl curve is pretty darn good stock. It's not bad at all. And I think that bump in the roof is designed to kick that fuel back into the midstream, kind of like a uh, an AFR. AFR has that vein they, they use in the bowl. Same idea. Okay, now let's go over some of the air speeds on, on the modified 318 versus this. Now this pinch hasn't been touched. It's still narrow, but the, he opened the radius a uh, bit. Slow, 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 right? Compared to these. This roof here versus this roof here. Okay, this is actually faster. Take a look at our short side there. 360, 385, 357 fast here. Okay, these are way faster. So, bone stock, we got a lot more going across the short side. We're not pulling hard through the pinch at all because the pinch is still big compared to uh, like a 318 size. And the, the roof is not really active. So what we did at that point is we put that chunk of clay on the floor to see what would happen from one to the other. This is what we got. Plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. Overall, it's a better curve than the bigger port. And it's going to have higher velocity because it's less cc's. Now let's take a look at what that did to our, our swirl. Minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus. Minus, minus, plus. It's hit and miss through the whole length. But it's still plenty. If we're running a 500 lift street cam, we're good. We got more than enough, right? You can see where she starts to go off the short side at 400. Overall, really not bad. And uh, like I said, we're talking about some other head. These beat, these beat a set of Chevy Fuelies stock. No doubt. Chevy Fuel is only about 205 to 208, something like that, CFM. And uh, let's take a look at the exhaust. Now, this is the exhaust just with a, a 1.6, no back cut. And these, these flows are in reference to the modified 318 flows. Let's get them next to each other. Okay, so this is actually the trapezoid port which was kind of interesting because I did less work to the trapezoid port and it flowed better than the rectangular port, which is not what I had on the 302 heads. But uh, I was kind of glad about it because I don't really have to do any development on it. I basically did a cleanup on it. I put the DV's valve job, I did a radius on it, and 
and let it eat. We're good. So this is in comparison. These pluses and minuses are in comparison to what my modified 318 had. Minus, plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. So it's better right in the mid-range, probably because it's a way bigger port and it has a way bigger valve, but it doesn't really have the efficiency. Whereas we're down at 500, we go from 170.5 to 149.7. That's a huge difference. Okay, that's 20 CFM. So you're losing 20 CFM and you have a bigger port with a bigger valve. That's that's not good. It's lower efficiency. Okay, now take a look at the air speeds. Remember, this this is the trapezoid exhaust. I haven't done, I really haven't done any development on it, and it's still really not bad. Take a look at the speeds across, right? Speeds in the middle, 315, 315. Tough to beat, right? The middle isn't dead. It's not really bad. It could use a little work in the in this corner. It's a little low. But that is, that's on that inside edge, the center of the cylinder side, and that edge is tough to get flow around. So let's take a look at the Z-head airspeeds. Okay, you got to remember, much bigger port, that's not moving as much air. So these are taken at 600 lift like the other ones were. Okay, you got a fast corner. It, same same speed, but these two are the same. This corner is a little bit slower. We're fast here. We got good speed there. <laughs> the first time I measured it, I got zero. <laughs> I called Rob over. I'm like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> then I, I measured it again, and I got 51. Okay, so this part of the port right here, 51 and the 74, that part of the port isn't really doing much. This part of the port over here isn't really doing much. This part on the floor over here isn't really doing much. This is this is where we're getting all of our flow action. So you can see the efficiency of that port can be brought up a lot with some work. You know what we didn't talk about? We didn't talk about the air speeds when I filled in the bowl. This is this is interesting. That's why I got double numbers on here. As we filled in the floor. All of these improved, right? We're still below 300. We're good. That's not holding us back. It forced more air up to the roof, which is what you would expect. And check out what it did to our short side radius. It made the whole port happier. That's why when Tom filled in the, the bottom of those ports, they ran as well as they did. Makes perfect sense to me. I almost forgot to show you the bore. Actually, the, the liquid pattern in the bore is really good for a completely stock head. Right? We got our nice angle, we got a little chunkiness action. The blue comes around quite a bit. It really looks quite good. We'll see if we can. It looks better on the bore than I would think it would, considering what it looks like in the port itself, where it's so narrow in the port. Right. We're going to organize now. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Wait. Rob had the idea of digging up the J head, the stock J head flows, which is why we were so organized, and compared them. So I scribbled out all of our pluses and minuses. Now, these pluses and minuses are in reference to a stock J head. Now, the stock J head had 188.16s in it. I, and I didn't write down whether it had a back cut, so it's probably a stock valve without a back cut and an evaporation ridge. But it's interesting because the 340 head's got a really good reputation of making good power, and we'll notice the differences, right? I think it's it's amazing, actually. Take a look. Take a look at the low lift flow. These are all winners, low lift flow. But it doesn't top out. Is I mean, it, it has... Our absolute peak was 217. Our absolute peak here is 215. But these higher lift numbers all go over to the J-head. Okay? And as far as the swirl, this swirl curve is really kind of dead until you start to lose it over the short side. I would like to have 
some progression here, not necessarily dead. This is actually a little fast, and we're good when we jump over this short side here. Maybe a touch fast. But take a look at our, our swirls. Minus, plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 plus. Now let's take a look at the, the comparison as far as the exhaust port. Uh, just by looking at it, I'm going to say I think the 340 intake port is bigger than the J port. I don't think they're identical. Uh, Rob said he might be just bring bringing the uh, the J back and we can measure them. And I don't remember the J exhaust port being quite as big as the 340 exhaust port. So let's get those together. Two fully ported heads from Hughes. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a quick compare on your, your J exhaust, and these pluses and minuses are your Z exhaust. All good. Beats this by a mile everywhere. Okay? The only thing it's down is when you put a pipe on. These were so big, I had to use a 2-inch pipe on them. Let's take a look at those exhaust ports. I didn't show the outside exhaust ports. Okay, it may not be easy to see, but somebody did work to that roof, so it's not 100% stock. In fact, we probably have to make sure they didn't make that too thin before we do anything with these heads. But you can see somebody also added some area. You can see there's, there's grinding on this side, so it's, it's bigger than, than it was stock. And you know me, I don't really like to make the openings much bigger. But this is what we got at this point, and it is it is tall. And uh, that's why we needed to use a two-inch pipe. Shut up. Well, those are the Z-heads, and um, I don't know what to tell you. What are we going to do next? I don't know. What do you want to do with them? I'd like to put an intake and an exhaust and uh, see what we can get out of it. But I want to limit the time. I don't want to take all day on it. All right. Well, how about Even it? like we did, I, I think care. we did that with the J-head. We did uh, yeah, an we, intake yeah. and exhaust, and they really came up. Yeah. They, they came up to like 245, right. I think. Yeah. They did come alive quite quite well. For the little bit of work around the, uh, the guide and the bowl, it really jumped up quite nice. They'll, I mean, just on that alone, it would make for a really nice, powerful street head just to buzz around it. Yeah, we can definitely bad. see, you can definitely see, if you compare it to the J-Heads, the J-Heads have a good reputation in making power. These are yeah. 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 even well, nicer. You know, all the letter heads are basically the same. I'm sure there's a headquarter out there that's going to go, no, this has this and this has that. You know, from the factory standpoint, what was put out in production, it's the same head. The little uh, uh, caveats of this and how this is better and that's better, uh, I really don't know, and I'm sure, absolutely sure, one head's better than the other. I know a lot of guys still will hail the X as the best head, so... You know, whatever you do with it. Let's see what we can do. All right, Rob. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys.